can become a workaholic if you don't have any balance to work with. It wouldn't make sense. Don't have anything to balance the work with. Because like at this point, at this point in this type of lifestyle while working, it's so far past. Or maybe it's not. Maybe like at the end of the day when you're looking at the bill, you're like, wow, like I could afford this all by myself, yeah. but not for three months. You know, and I need to keep doing this yeah, for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. But let's say that like somebody could do that in a way that they have one month on, one month off, and they're living a very humble lifestyle so that, like, the appropriate, you know, time yeah, if is you off have, from if you, work. If you have a job, if you have a job and a living standard that suits that, right. you can do that. Right. Because if you work and get $800 and you, that can succeed you for a, a month, and you tell your boss that give me a month for off, and he don't mind give you that month off. Right. Not replacing you. Right. Because you're coming back. Right. I think you can do that. But in the Western society that we live right now, the only way you can get a month off, or more than a month, unless you have a baby. <laughs> yeah. Then the job is secure for you to go back, right? Yeah. You know, so people can design, say, hey, I don't have to put myself through all these uh, lifestyle choices to work a whole year. I can work six months, and if my job is there for me another six months, I can take two days. Yeah. So it's what field you are, right? Yeah. So it, it's very, you know, because that's why so many different fields are different, you know. But I always tell, uh, I was telling a co worker that, have you ever think about how we, a majority of us are? He said, What do you mean? I said, Okay. I see attitude at the workplace and I read into it, I observe it, and the way you guys talk, everybody likes talking to me. I say, I see all of you at the bottom line of like your job, hate your job. So you are at that bottom line. One day you are above the the not liking the job on that. The other day you are bottom of that line. Yeah. And I can see from yeah. upset so you know, but we have some people, they are way over here, love yeah. for their job. Yeah, I don't understand that at all. Okay. There but is like, I, and, the, and the only reason why I don't fully understand the complete opposite of hating, hating your job is yeah. because I'm the type of person that will leave right away. Yeah, because the, the, the thing is that uh, every human being, you find yourself trapped in a certain situation all the time. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's, it, you, it, it can be where you were born, the era you were born, what was going on when you were born. Right. So you find yourself trapped in that particular era that you have to navigate your a trap. Some will be successful, some will take longer, you know. So right. a lot of us, we find ourselves financially kind of trapped into making a living with a certain trait that we never even dream of. Mm. You know, we never dream of. So we go towards there. The bottom line is, I want a paycheck to take care of, you know? And there is no way you have a second plan to work your way out of that. Or no opportunity have come for you to work. But we have a lot of people that they they are trapped in a, a place that they have a plan right what they want to do in that trap yeah right so they will say i want to be an engineer in this you know yeah so all of a sudden the opportunity is in front of them to become that engineer so they went in there with all that kind of feeling yeah. i want i want right so when everything goes smoothly and they get all the qualification, they are so happy that translates to love for the field that they're going into. Right. You see, so that means the trap that they think they were in, they advance themselves out of that, and the feeling just changed. So they say, man, I got this. 
you know, a goddess. So, right. You know, so those are the people that they went to the, the they started working with a good feeling for what they're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, and if the reward also is coming, that is good, it just multiply. You see? And success also have it's uh, what they call uh, it's adrenaline. destructiveness. Oh, okay. I was so, going to say adrenaline. No, success has a destructiveness. True. You can be so love your job that you become addicted to the job that you have no other right. balance. Yeah, That's right. the destructiveness of yeah. success. Yeah. You see, so don't see success as is just this clean shot. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. That's that's very yeah, fair. Success, it can't be. Yeah. It can't be. You know, so look at look at athletes, Tiger Woods, other athletes, look at the success they Mike Tyson, you know, all the they become so successful and it turned into destructive personality. You know, so success is a double edged sword. Yeah, it totally is. You know? So that's why I say uh, every human being find themselves in a you know a certain kind of like social situation environment era area there's always a trap that you don't want to be in you know that it will take you some strategy and a while to kind of back you know so yeah I get it yeah, yeah. facts you see? So, so, so when you see it in a general knowledge angle, so many different angles, you use it as a, you know, a, a, a tool. You know, for me, it's a, it's a general knowledge tool. Yeah. Yeah. I like that general knowledge yeah. tool about everything that yeah. has to do with human yeah. beings. Yeah, so. because there's no one thing without the other. That's pretty no, much yeah, what it, it, that's, it, that's pretty much what it sums yeah, up to. There's it, no one thing yeah. without the other, yin and yang. Yeah, you, uh, have, it to it works. you yeah. have to diversify your thinking yeah. and your thoughts. It has to be about balance, balance. Yeah. for real. You know, so I would, say even, I would say that, you know what, be careful. Analyze things and just, you know, don't just start in the middle of anything and try to make judgment. Right. Fair. You know, nothing starts from the middle. No. You know, even from the root to the canopy. Yeah. You know, it's a long way. Yeah. You know, sometimes if you want to make judgment from the canopy of the tree, you're not going to get how the tree is, you know? Right. Fair. The organism of the tree. But if you start from the root, then you work your way up and see why the canopy is so tall and blooming so nice. Awesome. You know, they, they have a, a book just came out called, uh, what they call it, uh, 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 The Genetic Lottery. Huh. Yeah, a book just came out by a social scientist. Uh, it's called The Genetic Lottery. I'm going to look into it. Okay, this is what you and I are biologically the same, biologically the same. But genetically, we have so many various differences. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get right into it. Yeah. Yeah, I got